daily bit of knowledge, equanimity, defined as the mental calmness, especially in the face of a difficult situation. This is something that we all want. Uh, we think we want happiness, but most of the time we just want peace of mind. And this is what you want. You want to be calm in the face of all this nonsense from the outside world. Politics, spilt milk, noise, Karens, sickness, people, viruses, traffic, gossip, selfishness, etc. Now, something that I've been thinking about lately that I coined is I want to cultivate non-response. This happened when somebody slammed on their brakes. I was driving and I felt, you know, anger welling up. I felt the need to respond. And I thought to myself, like, why? Why do we let strangers ruin our mental state? Why am I giving power to this person? that may or may not have had a reason to break or whatever. Why? And so I thought to myself, I want to cultivate non-response. And then I've expanded this to, believe, to I want to cultivate non-judgment, non-ego, non-label, non-opinion. And really everything in life is opinion. Uh, and when we respond to the environment in any way, we're thrusting our opinion upon it. And then that causes suffering generally because we have negativity bias and we tend to want things a certain way or whatever. But if we look at it, we think about it, it's kind of ridiculous. Why do we expect the world to act how we want? Like the, the constantly changing universe full of the randomness and people doing it, billions of people doing it, their, their own thing, nature, etc. Why do we expect the world to go the way we want? It's literally insanity. And what we do is we give up our equanimity. So this is what you want to think about, two big ideas. So every disturbance from the outside world is an opportunity to respond better. Right? Every time something comes up, take a breath, cultivate non-response, don't add labels or opinions or judgments to it, and simply ask yourself, okay, what's the best course of action right now? Somebody slammed on their brakes or cut me off. The best course of action is to let it go, get back to a calm state, and then just drive home. That's also the safer route. <laughs> every disturbance is an opportunity. Every time somebody says something you don't like, it's all an opportunity to improve yourself, improve your response. All right, so that's the daily bit for today.